Hello and welcome to part two of Gaming with Pox on Locks. We are definitely playing cheaters because this guy's name is the Hard R, and that's how you know because cheaters are also racist. But that doesn't mean we can't win. You know why? Because we're absolute gamers, and today we're playing Buck and Legion, aka Garfield is Doc's top two solo queue oh, operator guys. picks. We're testing the theory: Are they better than Smoke and Yana? No, I think Smoke and Yana are absolutely goaded. Like top. Top solo queue up, so good, so strong for their intended purpose and for how I Wait, play solo fuck, queue. Curry, you're on my team. So, fucking my bad after. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully they're not cheating. We got Chalet. Great map for Buck. Really great map for Buck. So this should be uh, this should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to this. We played Emerald Plains in part one, which is on my main channel, which you can click the link in the description to go watch if you'd like. And uh, as another little promo, you can subscribe to me on Twitch to get my in-game charm. I have in-game charm, same as my YouTube logo. It's pretty epic. It's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into this game. Start off on the defense with some lesion and then get some epic gamer buck gaming. You know? You know what I'm saying? Put, a, put some, put some uh, big eight equal sign Ds in the comments if you like buck. Yeah. Yeah. Shabussy. All right. Um, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I just get, I get, I just get on this lost train that is running through my brain, you know? Like sometimes I just see the train go by and I grab a hold and it just takes me away as I drift away into the, into the Arizonian desert. All right, defense, lesion, top floor, windows, good under windows, great for like bathroom window hop in, piano window hop in. Uh, canine window hop-ins, like the office balcony hop-in, library window hop-ins, just so much info on these. The staircases, we could honestly hold... Dude, honestly, Legion's kind of sick. We can honestly hold to all of top fireplace with the goom mines, just having information on the staircases, the window hop-ins, opening the hatches, making lines of sight with the shotguns. I'm, I'm not trying to say Legion is not one of the best solo queue by the way. He's definitely like in my top five solo queue operators. Very, very strong for solo queue. Lots of information, which I think is what you need when you solo queue. Uh, I just think Smoke is just all around that guy. I mean, he's got the barbed wire for the info, and then his loadout is just insane. Those smokes are so good for playmaking, which I also think is very, very important when you're solo queuing. So anyway, let's... um. Let's get situated here. I usually like to put my first game mine on here because it's kind of risky to throw it down once the round's actually started because they get up there quick. They start shooting through the windows, leaning out and throwing a goo mine. Not the smartest option. Same thing with the library windows. And then the staircases is kind of, we can fill those as I more my more of my goo mines charge up. Now, reinforcing this allows me to play top fireplace, contest library. Um, it's just nice, it's just useful. And then I can also hold blue stairs with these head holes. But then these head holes are also great for if you're playing from back in Ivy. You can see the single window hop in from here too. So my teammates can actually help me. Kelly, I'm safe. This guy got sniped off rip. Warden down. Classic warden main. Just, just don't get your shit blown. Getting plowed in the first 12 seconds. Now try to hide this by the by the pillar so they might not see it on a drone. Watch the drone hole. And they're on that single window already. Getting this Ivy window would be probably a good idea as well. Now they could repel and technically and peek this. Try to get rid of this drone. He's droning, so. I got Ash, I got Ash. Was they have a zero for him. Alright. I don't think he shot another one, so. My team is kind of get worked on site here. He thinks I walked in, so I can just bait him on his cam because he keeps going on it and getting off of it. I don't know where he actually shot a zero cam. Zero for president. Just trying to keep baiting him off his cam. I'm just wasting his time right now. He can sit out there as long as he wants. You know, he's wasting his own time while my team massacres his entire team. So I'll just keep sitting here until he decides to push. There goes, hit the goo mine, and he's dead. And that's the diffuser, and that's the fucking round. Big reason why I'm not a fan of Zero is just that right there. He just doesn't have that pushing power. He can have the info, but he can't actually push on if, off of it. So as a solo queue off, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I tried him out all day yesterday on stream. All day. I played him all day, and it was still like... Dude, I just, I just, I, maybe I just don't get it. Maybe it's just not my op, you know? All right. On the basement. On to the basement. Now, on the basement, Legion 
this isn't typically an opera I pick on here just because there isn't a lot of window hop-ins. There's no real staircases to put them on. You can put on like blue stairs, main stairs. Um, so that's pretty solid. Honestly, impacts I could use for impact tricking. Or we can actually go up and hold dining and hold the hatch using the goo mines for info to actually contest site from the hatch. So I'm gonna pop the hatch before my team reinforces it and do my full setup up there. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about the site right now. I'm going straight up, holding up there, using all my time setting up up there. And then if they do this backside wine take, I'm contesting it from the hatch and they're not actually able to push that trench breach. So put a goo mine here. We'll do one on the trophy window. You can use a couple of reinforcements on the lobby walls as well. Unfortunately, I had no ammo in my gun. Uh, we'll barricade this. That's my info for if they come up this hallway. Reinforce these walls. This is something I could do at the start of the round too, is reinforce the walls. If I wanted to go make all my shotgun holes first. I could even go up and reinforce master hatch. It would just take a lot longer. So I usually don't take the time to actually do that. But we could even do some like foot holes here. Just to make make them worried about hopping in here. Make them actually question what they're about to do. Opening up this is great too because I can flank garage later in the round if they're not pushing me out. Get rid of their info. Now it sounds like they're outside trophy window, so I'm actually gonna hold the passive angle on this. They might hop in looking at the dining holes. They might even drone this first, so I just want to get rid of that info while I can. Sounds like they might repel in top floor. I'm in top bathroom. Three hundred. And the bathroom guy went west main windows. One's west main. Might be able to get him through these four holes now. Oh my god, the Cali Lance is insane. So now I'm pinned down by this Cali, and it's a 1v5. I gotta try to push this guy. Got a retake. I have patch control. Play for the fights, play for the picks. I gotta hurry up though. I can ignore the buck and try to drop this. I feel like they're probably watching. Yo, that ace is cheating. That ace is cheating. What's new? Now it's a 1v2. This is winnable. He's walling. There's no way. Winnable clutch. He's upstairs. He's upstairs I hear above you. Dang, I thought the holes were right above me. Unfortunately, I looked up to look for the holes. I could have stuck it, I think. I could have stuck it the first time. I thought the holes were looking up above me. I was trying to bait them to actually beat me. Unfortunate. Almost had the 1v5, but... It's okay. Wallers suck. We can beat them. If it's just the one of them, we can definitely beat them. Bro, it's every he's fucking only... game, though. I don't think he's... Any it's every else. game. It really is every game. I mean, I've played three games. Two of them have had cheaters in it, Literally, so... I've played what can you do, you know? It's just part of the life at this at point. At least one We're gonna keep playing Legion. We'll keep trying to yeah, he just do do setups yeah. as if they're not cheating, because honestly, this guy sucks. He's not even as... Yeah, he like, did the same thing to me. Considering you're worse, like, just as... Good, like, equal. Equal in skill to a regular champion with a full-on, like, wall hack is, like, pretty sad. Like, the fact that he just whiffs his whole mag with an AK-12 while having, like, perfect pinpoint wall hacks is embarrassing. So, it's whatever. It's whatever. Almost had the 1v5. That actually would have been pretty sick. If I stuck that, I I, I really believe I would have won it. Um, which, which is sad, but... It's the way it is. It's the way it is. Hindsight's 2020, baby. Hindsight is 2020. Now, let's get active. I'm feeling good after that. I'm feeling like, hey, I can still shit on these kids even if they are cheating. So, and that's my proof. That's all I need. So let's do it. And there might be multiple of them. I think that that other guy, that Cali, might be as well. It seemed like he kind of knew where I was at, shooting through the solar wall and rotating off every th everywhere I pushed on him. Like I went upstairs when he opened the bathroom window, and then he left the bathroom and went west main window, and then held me on solar stairs all without droning me a single time. So that's that raises a little bit of suspicion as well. I wasn't sure who that was, but if I had to guess, it was probably the guy with the name the Hard R. Naturally. Oh, I forgot to make these trophy window Somebody holes. Just, yeah. We're looking okay right now. We might come trophy window. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I 
We can make these little holes for big garage as well. Ace is outside your snowmobile. Now I can just chill. I just gotta stay up here. Try to bait out some shots. Figure out where he's at. He might have wall hacks, but I have the power of baiting. Which is almost like wall hacks. Now if he comes this window and just shoots me through it, then I'm definitely dead, but... Break it, break it, break, door, break it, door. So... Yeah, no, really this door. Yeah, I also have this, this, uh, Capian trap, so... I don't know actually where they're at right now, so... Is there anything front garage, or where are they at? I think I hear one Two front garage, two front garage. Two front garage, okay. I still have hatch control, so I don't need to worry too much. Inside. Don't want him to get the thunderbird. Somebody watch this cam. I have bomb. I got shit. Break this. I'm gonna go west once I heal up. So I got my blue goo. I don't know which one he hit. I'm gonna be careful about blue. I got a goo mine on it. Pushed up pillar. I think this nomad might also be cheating. Oh, he actually didn't know I was on the desk, which is surprising. Oh, this nomad's legit. This guy's not cheating. And we do have the diffuser, so my teammate might be okay. I wasted a lot, a lot of time, so I'm actually chilling. Don't play too passive, guys. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Nice, good shit, guys. Nice good shit. shit. Wow, wow, what a lineup. What a crossfire. You see how they swung at the same time? That way the other team had to look both ways at the same time. And even though they had Let's three go. of them, they were hit with this this massive pinch. So I'm glad Capcam played that a little more aggressive because if he just hides in the corner, like one of them's gonna die. They're gonna grab the case, they're gonna plant. Like they they still had enough time. Like 15 seconds is still a lot of time if you think about it. Now we won two rounds, which is huge. Almost won all three actually. Almost won okay, that's don't I don't wanna bring it back up, but I almost one v five them, okay? Almost hit them with the one v five. All right, now we're on Vok. What do we wanna do? Vertical, breach, flashbangs for gaming plays. Um, what else? Save our drones so we can get in safely. Maybe do a pre-place drone so I can take some map control quickly. I think I'm going to come in through Big Garage and come up the West Main stairs because ideally I end up in dining. So if I can get to dining safely, maybe even pick off a roamer there, I can apply a lot of pressure to the site from below and then I can eventually push up solar stairs. So I might be able to get a pick through the floor um, and then we can go up the, the solarium stairs. And then it'll all be good. So I'm gonna leave this drone here just to see if anyone actually goes into Big Garage. Make sure my spawn is good. And then once I get to Big Garage, I will re-drone it. You know, I'm actually gonna have to pull it back. If I had a teammate to watch it, I would put it there. But because I don't, I'm actually gonna set up in Big Garage. That way I can just get on and check if anyone's actually in here. Um, because the timing of it, they might cross and actually take Big Garage and hide in a corner or something. So I wanna make sure it's actually fully clear. And if there is someone in here, I can just go buck them from the wall and kill them. So if someone hides in here and they don't find this drone, it's a free kill. But nobody's in there. No, no, hiding in here. Just careful of spawn peaks. I like to shoot a bullet or two through these windows. Sometimes it's just a free kill. We'll hop on that drone again. Still good. Okay. Nobody would have made it that quick. Now we're back in here. Check again. IQ is sending it, so I might actually just bait her. Oh my god, I'm just going to follow behind her. Normally I have a drone, but we can use her as a human drone, essentially. So this is just sitting there, bro. He's here. Nope. He killed me from the up top of the bed. Oh, there we This is the corner, in the corner. The Solus. All right, now we got to drone up a little bit more to be safe. I have a flank drone. One's on main wall. Oh, I'm crazy. So if my teammate watches my flank drone, that's pretty useful. One's in lobby, one's good. lobby. Might be able to kill this lobby guy. They shot my drone, I'm not sure from where. Just to be careful, listen for sound. Oh, this is a closet, so I might be able to kill someone up in there. Oh my god, I am terrible. All right, well. Wasn't piano, wasn't piano. Now he's in solar. I can clear out the solar area. 
by clearing with my skeleton key. I'm getting worked here. I'm getting worked for my own vert. Sounds like he's bathroom, so. I can't get through the doorway, dude. Where's the door? I'm pushing against the door the whole time. What the heck? Why can't I get through the door? Whatever. <laughs> I already passed it. I was like, where is it, dude? I've been walking against this door for a mile, but I guess I was already past it. All right, well, whole team died. I was in a 3v1. That's that's the rough part, is that if you can't get those picks to the floor, it's, it's going to be tough. Now, what I could have done is maybe brought my other drone from the basement and droned up and tried to get a quick pick through the floor, like a floor bang with the skeleton key, like figure out where they're sitting, if they're sitting still. But I find that a lot of the time... People just don't sit still in rank. They're not going to be sitting in one specific spot in these top ranks. Like, they, they are just going to be constantly running around, running at you. Like, champion ranked is, like, a full-on everyone run around fest. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, it's a little goofy. It's a little goofy is all. And it's it's t difficult to actually get those picks on people standing still. But if you find in your rank, there's a lot of people sitting on cams, um, anchoring site and not moving at all. That's a great opportunity to sneak a drone in there, get some info, and just absolutely blast them through the floor with a bug. Now, this is basement site. Harvey shields are going to be pretty good here. I do like the flashbangs because they let you make the plays into site, like from the wine door, from the breaches, etc. Um, plus, if I'm going top floor, actually, I could go lobby and open up the hatch. It's just that I've already lost one drone because I'm a troll and always drive it into site. So it's going to be really hard to actually gather info. So we have to kind of go direct here. I'm going to have to probably try and get it from the main breach. Now, this is somewhere where I'd probably just go with Thermite instead of Buck to get the main breach or even Maverick just to make lines of sight and get picks from there. And then eventually make a rotate that I can push through. Because I do have the mute, so honestly there's not a lot I can do besides go big garage and try to use my skeleton key to get in there, maybe get a pick, uh, and just try to work pressure on site. But again, this is a time where I would probably just go Yana, go trench door, gather info. Use the flashbangs to break through. This mute might be a problem for us. Just careful if they try to pre-fire me at that. Because playing a shotgun there with mute is actually very powerful. Like, he could have probably killed me there. You located a bomb. Oh, the zombie's in the kitchen. I'm going to hold this and maybe get a pick on the mute if he overextends. Again, that shotgun's very strong. My teammate's getting beat up, though. And there's not a lot I can do. You must the diffuser. One friendly operator remaining. Oh, zombie was being served. Go, Buck, go, they're down. Wow, nice shot by that guy. Good quick peek. So my team's just getting absolutely annihilated, but I don't ha I don't even know what I could do. It's hard to gather info with the mute. Um, I probably should have just pushed in sooner. Like I still thought that mute was playing somewhere with his shotgun, which is why I didn't just send it into sight. If that mute wasn't there, as my team's getting annihilated, I'm going to just send it into sight. You saw they had nothing. Like I could have just walked in there. Uh, but I was just concerned about the mute is all. All right, back to Buck. Uh, flashbangs would be nice. Like, even the opportunity to use a hard breach tool wasn't there because the walls were muted as well. So, I mean, just a bit of a struggle, all, all, like, alongside my whole team getting murked. But I might just have to pick up the intensity, pick up the aggression, go with my team, maybe make some just, like, aggressive Buck rushes. I could just not drone and send it into the building, which honestly could pay off. Uh, that mute with the shotgun is terrifying, though. The fact that I could run into the building and just get a pump to the chest is a little spooky. Now, what I'm going to do is actually spawn backside. Get my drone out of here. Try to get it to Big Garage like I did that first round. And they have that Solus. But if I can see that Big Garage is clear off, st off the start, I might just fly through there and send it up West Main Stairs. I might need to just spice it up. Get a little bit aggressive. Get a little bit fast on them. Either that or I could go top floor and buck down, but... Then I have to worry about all the roamers. There's a lot of concern when doing that because the flank is very vulnerable, especially while you're bucking and getting focused on people on site and trying to work people out of the site spots. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to use the skeleton key and use this nice loadout to, to, to get some picks here. Let's see what I can do. So again, this big garage is clear. I don't even need a drone. I'm not gonna drone it this time. 
because this is clear, I'm just going to push all the way through and then be careful once I hit the bottom and then just see if I can make some plays on the site. Because they have that Solus, I don't want to drone too much, especially if I'm trying to be aggressive. They open up the hatch behind me. Hopefully they don't drop it. No info on the stairs, just the beeper. And there's a guy trophy as well. So there's actually two watching it. Unfortunate. They've played so far off the site before that... Oh, this guy was actually here before I hit the beeper. It's interesting. Was it awesome? Because I didn't drone at all, so I don't know, I actually know how Solus knew I was there. But whatever. You know, whatever. My team does think they're cheating, so I could just be getting called out. Because there's no defaults on it. Oh, I walked past the West Main default, but that was as I hit the beeper and he was already ready for it, so... I don't know. Who knows? They could just be cheating. I mean, my teammate already, my team already thinks they are, and with names like that, I wouldn't be surprised, but... We got Blackbeard taken top. I did want to go fast pace just because my team all died so fast the past couple rounds. Oh, wow. Teamwork makes a dream work. Nice play from Casper there. Oh, my God. That guy got shit on. Wow. 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 If my team wins this, I'm going to be very excited. Blackbeard is doing Blackbeard things. Classic day in the life. Bro, there's like all downstairs. Which right you now. might be able to take sight, yeah. They are all downstairs in basement. And then one's upstairs. They're playing the diffuser now that Nobody's they have in sight, it. Twitch. He revived upstairs. Back. Pretty sure that revive was upstairs on that cap can. I have a cam on this guy in big garage. If you guys want to go to the outside wall and wall bang him. There's two downstairs. You can drop the trophy hatch on this guy, Twitch. Friendly, last operator standing. He's up on the vault spot on, in garage. And then one's in wine. I'm not sure what this game plan is. He's on this vault spot in garage, careful. Yeah, up there to the right on that thing. Nice smoke, I like that. It's a guy with a shotgun, so you should be fine to fry him if you swing in. Going in. I mean, shit talking in chat, so. Nice. Uh, dropped lobby hatch coming through wine. Tap can. There's gonna be two wine. I think we still could win this. Nice shot. He's nice shot man. All I would say GG, but uh, they're shit talking and cheating, and I haven't said anything in the chat, so. I'm a little. I don't know. I don't actually know if they're cheating or if they're just if they're just good. They could just be good straight up. But anyway, that's game two of the day. Hope you learned something. I'm not sure if you did, but uh, I tried my best. I don't know. I'm still a Yana believer. Buck's solid, but I don't think he's someone you could run like all the time. I think Yana is definitely someone you could run on every site all the time. But stay tuned because I will be making a video all about that in the near future. So we'll see you tomorrow, boys. Thanks for watching. Peace out, gamers.